Reconnaissance surveys for stream discharge provide an efficient and non-temporally biased means of evaluating flow conditions across a broad area. These are best applied within a single watershed as the survey provides a point-in-time snapshot of the relative flow condition from all tributaries within the watershed. What's unique about this method is that it can be combined with volunteer initiatives and a more systematic survey of discharge that's conducted at various stream crossings uh, in the watershed to provide an overall water budget for the watershed. Uh, since surveys are conducted on one day, we know the relative contribution of flows from all areas within the watershed and can identify critical Five, flow zero. zones and areas that are intermittent. In Ontario, government and non-governmental organizations are working along with many volunteers to pioneer the use of these techniques in a new initiative called the Check Your Watershed Day. Things to watch out for when applying this module are that many stream crossings uh, are hidden. There are small culverts and they may be dry, but they're important to characterize during a reconnaissance survey. At the same time, you have to watch out for barbed wire and poison ivy and steep drop-offs associated with these, uh, these stream crossings. So you have to be quite careful that you um, uh, look after yourself and you take safety first at each of these uh, sampling locations. This module has evolved from a variety of the modules within the Ontario Stream Assessment Protocol, specifically from some of the modules within the habitat section as well as the discharge. And it actually represents a composite of modules uh, that provides an overall view of the conditions at uh, stream crossings. This module incorporates a variety of methods that are used to measure discharge. It matches the different methods to the different stream conditions that we see. For example, volume over time is used as the most or identified as the most uh, accurate way of measuring discharge. We also acknowledge that velocity meters and any discharge measurements using those are um, the second uh, most uh, accurate metho method for measuring discharge. Following that we use hydraulic head as a surrogate for velocity and finally we use a measure of the time traveled uh, by some floating object as the last level of measuring velocity and converting that to discharge. As a last resort, we will also estimate discharge uh, visually where there is just a little bit of flow and it's not really measurable. So we recognize these different techniques and acknowledge them in our hierarchy of how to measure discharge within the streams.